Joakim, hard to believe you've got this New York hat on here, but a homecoming for you. What is the most exciting part for you coming home, playing for the Knicks? Uh, New York is, uh, is very special to me. This is where I, this is where I grew up. Um, and just to, I've been a Knicks fan my whole life. So this jersey means everything to me. And uh, I'm ready to be an animal for this city. <laughs> I like it. All right, now let's rewind a little bit, though. Derrick Rose gets traded to New York. At what point did it go through your mind, I want to go with him? Right when I heard that that trade happened, I couldn't believe that, you know, Derrick was getting traded to the Knicks. It was just, I couldn't imagine him leaving Chicago. And for a center, for Robin, it was pretty, uh, pretty crazy. You don't really hear of point guards getting traded for centers. So um, I knew that they had an empty spot there. And right away, I just knew that this was where I wanted to be. And then it wasn't long after that that you went after Courtly Lee. You've got some magic talent because you got him to come here. He took some less money, and now he's here. But walk us through how you got him here as well. Uh, it was easy. You know, we have, we have friends in common. And I just wanted to get to him, and I thought it was a great fit for him in terms of basketball. And uh, I know that if we can win here, there's nothing better. You're not going to um, get that feeling uh, winning a basketball, like winning a basketball game at Madison Square Garden. And I was just getting him hype, you know, just getting him excited, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, we got the deal done. Knicks fans also incredibly hyped up to see that there was video yesterday of you working out with Carmelo. So tell us about that. What has it been like to be on his side of the fence? Uh, it's unbelievable. It's a New York thing. Uh, you can't do anything on the low, huh? Not at all. Welcome. <laughs> nah, it feels, it feels good. You know, um, Carmelo's an unbelievable talent, and I've been wanting to play with him for a long time. And to be able to do it here is... It's really special, you know. Uh, I wake up every morning feeling so blessed, and to be able to work with a talent like that and play with a talent like that, who's a, a warrior, a warrior on the court, great leader. I'm really looking forward to it. All right. So speaking of not being able to get away with anything, we've also heard stories about a run-in that you had with Phil Jackson, in which you uh, put your arm up. You wanted him to do a little pull up there. What, tell us that story. Wait, what happened? You ran into Phil Jackson earlier this spring. You said he could do a pull-up on your arm to prove that the shoulder was doing all right. Or was Phil, or is this not true? Hey, we might be learning something here. I was just trying to cut some side deals, you know? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so how healthy are you then? Well, I feel great, you know, I'm, I'm working hard every day. Um, you know, I'm not gonna waste this opportunity. This is very special. You know, being able to play play at home um, and not anywhere. I'm, I'm playing in New York City. This is where I grew up. I have so many people to thank, you know, Mr. Green, rest in peace. I love you. I wouldn't be here without you, you know, but it, it's real. You know, a lot, not, a lot of people, um, I just don't want to take this opportunity for granted. And uh, it's a blessing, and uh, I'm hungry to, to get it popping in the garden. How good can this team be? I think we have a lot of talent, but now, um, you know, talent isn't everything. Now it's about gelling together, building chemistry, and, um, and having that, that gangster mentality every time we step onto the court. You know, that's what New York is all about. Uh, we gotta be tough, and we gotta stick together. You know, there's gonna be a lot of distractions. That's what New York City's all about, staying focused, and make the city proud.